Most bashed yes. in the booth. It's very easy for everybody to play. I, I, well, I'll let Greg say, uh, we had nothing but problems on a certain music. Dagon Brothers. I, okay, well, okay. I wasn't going to say the name. Uh, Brothers. Greg, we were recording that over Christmas, and my brother, who I love dearly, had one request for Christmas, and I want um, to tell you what it is. I wanted to uh, have permission to kick the script writer where, where his legs meet. <laughs> That's, that's all I wanted for Christmas. Christmas. Just wanted to kick it. that guy right there. Yeah. Um, and, and that because he made every session uncomfortable. It was all we did was have to rewrite lines. And uh, we had the other uh, disadvantage that we were recording music. And it's bad enough to make a stupid sentence work, but to make horrible lyrics that don't fit with the syncopation and. Uh, especially yeah. several things that we were uh, all singing in unison were things that would have never worked. Uh, the song where we sang, give us a little, 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 little piece of cheese. He wanted three of us in unison to go little, 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 little. It, it just never would have worked. So, um, yeah, most of, most of Nerma Dicom Brothers was written by the cast. Was written by myself, the and engineer, John Duckworth, and the cast. Uh, and that was everybody. That was every episode of villain like Monica that came in and every principal character had a major hand in, in making that script work because 98% of the dialogue was that collaboration and not the writer. I can say that I write a lot more than uh, any of you will ever know because I use a fake name. Yes. I use fake names because that way people talk smart it's not about me. <laughs> well, well it is. They just Monica. don't know it. What are you reading? Um, I'm playing with their iPhone and looking her up on YouTube to avoid her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody took her face and put it on Risa. Risa? Risa. Risa. How funny. <laughs> hey, I'm just curious. You guys go to a lot of cons and you have a lot of panels, but what do you do in between then? I mean, oh, thank you for asking that. You guys go. <laughs> um, uh, All right, thank you for having me back, Boston. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, I, I'm really a homebody. Like, uh, I, in fact, my friends laugh because I'm pretty uh, non-social at home. I, uh, I have a group, a small group of people I hang out with, and that's it. Um, we eat at Cafe LOL, which is Cafe 101. Uh, we go bowling every Friday. Uh, I play a lot of video games. I play, did I mention I play a lot of video games? Uh, I work part-time for an architect. Um, I listen to and, and make a lot of music. But, but the one thing that's so weird is when we do so much of this, when we're out of town every weekend, uh, it really takes a toll on you because uh, you're around big groups of people all the time. So I've become a, a not so loud person in the weekdays because uh, I enjoy, you know, sitting in my underwear playing Xbox 360 with my dog. So, so yeah, nothing exciting. My dog does not play Xbox very well. My dog is the animal equivalent of a beanbag chair. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It lives to go to sleep. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm the same way. I, uh, I, I've become recently very obsessed with my Neopet. Um, yes, me too. Both are Neopets, guys. Um, but I love my Neopet. Uh, and I, like I said, my, my DVD collection is over 4,000. So, and I'm, I'm really kind of, Molly will take she's known me for years. I'm really kind of a hermit. I've got about five restaurants that I go to, and I kind of go there and other than and that it's the monk. same thing at every one of them well dealing with me is like dealing with Mr. Monk so uh, <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm very much a kind of hermit homebody me too I think the big thing that I do is we go to live shows a lot we'll go see bands a lot Monica and I almost got in a fight at the Mind Self Indulgent show that was perfect it was awesome and we drank all the beers that was at MC Chris oh that was at MC Chris we drank all the beers Dearly. Can I hear your question one more time? What did we do when we're not here? Was, is that what it was? I, see, I totally misunderstood. I thought it was, well, what do we do when we're at conventions? 
but not in panels. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. Was it kind of that? See? Maybe it's somebody paying attention. Okay. Canadians at Mumford, and you might want to watch what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Boston. I'll see you later. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll answer the original question. You guys got to the to the B question, which is good. Um, what do we do when we're not at panels at a convention or something like that? Well, to give an example, um, we meet fans. It's a big thing. Like um, on Friday, I had uh, a panel, and then the panel's done, and then autographs. And six hours later, I was done my autographs because I'm just meeting. If some, in my book, if somebody's going to stand in line to meet me, which in my my head is completely ridiculous, <laughs> you're standing in line to meet me, <laughs> nobody. But uh, so then I get to meet them right back, and so that's a big part of it is just interacting with. Uh, attendees at these conventions and for somebody like me checking out a lot of a lot of other stuff as well right I mean I hit the dealer for a little bit but uh, I spent a good chunk of time in artist alley yesterday just checking out everybody's stuff and wandering around seeing what's going on and if I find a hack circle in the hallways I'll usually be there for a good half an hour no or so way. too oh yeah that's so funny in high school I didn't go to math class I kicked the hack around with my buddies <laughs> which is why my I don't have any long division skills anymore <laughs> Um, we do, there's also a lot of press stuff that we do that uh, is like off in another room somewhere. So a lot of times when people think we're just hiding in our rooms, we're actually, you know, meeting with somebody from a and or, or a magazine or something. Um, I'm silly. I actually volunteer and work at two other conventions now. So uh, I'm just glad in between panels that I don't have to move chairs and things. So I let other people do it. Yeah, I, I tend to spend a lot of time on the floor. Uh, that I don't Face down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm on the floor, of, I was out for about three hours yesterday, got to hang out and talk with a lot of people. But I normally have a lot more, but I've, I've been sick the past couple of days, so I've been trying to keep, yeah, keep myself well. And we go to the bar a lot, too. Yes. <laughs> and that's shocking with actors. Usually, if, if I find like a, a karaoke at one of these conventions, you'll usually find me there. But but uh, here it's it's all uh, anime karaoke, right? My Japanese singing skills are subpar. <laughs> Give me some Elvis and I'll belt it. But uh, yeah. I they all make fun of me at conventions because I end up going back to my room to read after after uh, you know a full day. Even kind of on this convention though, because like we get called in in a day we need more stuff. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and this stuff takes a lot out of you too. I mean, I, 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 we love meeting the fans. We love the panels. We love the autograph panels, getting to talk to you, like Brad said. Um, and then, but having put forth that much energy to meet that many people all day, you get really, really tired at night before you realize you do. Like you could be up all day, and it just feels normal. It feels like where you are because everything's going on. And then as soon as you sit down, you're like, Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah. <laughs> So, I, I read in, in my hotel room. What do you do, Aaron, other than tapping on the microphone? <laughs> I was not tapping on the microphone. It's just the stand, man. <laughs> it sounded like a heart. It yeah. did. Wait, what do I do? What did you do last night? <laughs> what did you do last night? They want to know what, what, what we do at conventions when they don't see us. What I did last night, I won't see her. Right? Yeah, she was at the rave. Before that. You didn't know what you did. Yeah, you went to dinner. I ate pizza and I watched, oh, I watched the Titanic the in my hotel room. I've never seen it before. Did you what? cry? Huh? No, I did not cry. Did you laugh? I just you laughed. cried him off the door. Did, yeah, you was think, funny. did you think Kate Winslet was hot? What? Did you think Kate Winslet was hot? You know, at first, not so much. Mm -hmm. And then, point, whenever he was drawing her, then she was hot. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, you gotta get out of the house more, kid. <laughs> I don't know why. Her, even her face looks better. <laughs> wow, you're making this really makes your face look better. better. <laughs> I almost believe you were looking at her face in that. Me too. Almost. 
Almost. Did any of you go to the Toast concert yesterday? Uh, I didn't. Yeah. Too, but, but I saw them at Anime Central. Those guys are amazing on stage. Yeah. They're really good. I got a t-shirt. It's got some little chibi dude playing the drums on the front. It's awesome. Okay, um, I was wondering if you guys ever...